guys, it's a Shaw Kirby 707, and welcome to my new Let's Play. This is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time I'm doing a Zelda game, actually. <laughs> What, it's been almost two years since I've done Twilight Princess? Yeah! Um, this was a tough choice, actually. I have two games to decide on for my next LP. And they're both Zelda, either this game or Skyward Sword. It was a tough choice, but... Some of my viewers were asking for Ocarina of Time, so I'm like, you know what, why not? And plus, Skyward Sword is still kind of new, and so I just want to wait that one off just a little bit. But yeah, um, one thing I want to say... Um, I would not be getting all this gold to us. <laughs> no, sorry, no. And as for the fourth bottle, well, that's debatable. But anyways, I erased a file, so I'm gonna start a new one. And normally I would call it Link, but you know, since this is my this is my own playthrough, I'm gonna name it with my nickname. So let's put S um K E V E. Kevin. Yeah, that's my nickname for Shadow Kirby, so yeah. I had, I don't know, I didn't like my other um, nickname for Twilight Princess. That one was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but Skevin, that's what some people call me, so yeah. Alright, so I named it Skevin, and let's start this. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Well, it seems that someone's having a nightmare. Whoa, what's going on? Uh, why are you dreaming of a castle? Hmm. Strange. And there's a white horse. Huh, who is that? Hmm. What the? Oh my god, your, your face is green. Ah! Navi. Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But. Before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin this journey. The youth whose destiny is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. All right. So I guess some big tree called the Deku Tree is sending a fairy to us. And I gotta say, I do like this cutscene. I like the little camera view of this and <laughs> we all went under that guy's legs. Wow. Hello. Well, this is a pretty neat forest. Pretty neat. And, um, rock humping much? <laughs> great start to a great game, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Oh, ow. <laughs> Oh, uh, poor Navi. And yes, Navi, I... I don't know, it depends how I pronounce her name. Navi, Navi, same thing, but her name sounds like Navigate, so I mostly call her Navi, because it's short for Navigate. So yeah. Hello. Hello, Skevin, wake up. The great Decatree wants to talk to you. Skevin, get up. No, I don't want to get up, I'm too lazy. Hey, hey come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? 
Nah. I don't want to get up. It's too early. Even though I'm an early bird. I need some more beauty rest. Ooh, a glowing light bulb. You finally woke up. I'm Nabby the fairy. The great Decatree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too, Navi. The great Decatree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Okay, so pretty much this is Link. As you guys pretty much know who Link is, he's pretty much famous for his green tunic and all that. And this is Kokiri Forest, where we pretty much live for the for the remainder of our lives, I guess. <laughs> oh, who's that? Ooh, I like your green hair. Are you a friend of mine? Yahoo! Hi, Skevin! Hmm. Well, let's talk to her. Let's see who she is. Hi there. Who are you? Oh, my friend. Well, she doesn't introduce herself, but her name is Saria, and, well, she's Link's best friend. Wow, a fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you, Skevin. Wow, that's a great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, Skevin. Is that right? The great Decatree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deca Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deca Tree. All right, so um, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. We're gonna go see the Great Deca Tree. All right, so from that scene, the Great the, uh, the Great Deca Tree is right over here. All right, so um, excuse me. Can I can I get through? Hello. Why are you, why are you being a jerk? Hey, you missing no fairy. What's your business with the Great Deca Tree? Without a fairy, you're nothing even a real man. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The great Deku Tree actually summoned you. What? Why would he summon you and not the great Mayu? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. What do you mean not fully equipped? I'm ready to go. How do you think you're going to help the great Deku Tree without both a sword and a shield ready? Oh. Well, I guess technically you're right, but still, I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't need no sword. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we need a sword and a shield. Now, the, oh, uh, the, the sword, you actually can get it somewhere else, but before I get it, I actually want to grab some money, because, yeah, well, for the shield, you need to buy, have 40 rupees, which is a currency in Zelda games, and, yeah, you need to buy it in the shop, so there's five rupees right here that we can get easily, and I'll... Well, pretty much you can look around the bushes for any more rupees, so that's pretty much what we're going to do in this part. <laughs> I mean, this is only the beginning, so, yeah. So, look around these bushes, you can find green rupees, which are worth, which are worth one, and I well, only found two. That's not much. We need more. But if you jump across this platform, you get five rupees. Alright, not too bad. Uh, we still need a lot more, though. So, the Great Tucker Tree Summon does, but unfortunately, we're not fully equipped yet, so, yeah. And by the way, if you hear, if you keep hearing, hey, that's Navi. Yeah, so she has an icon up there, and if you pull or press up on the C stick, yeah, she'll tell you something that you need to do. Well, unfortunately, I can't do anything right now, Navi, so yeah, we need a sword and a shield in order to get to the Great Deku Tree. Alright. So the sword is in here, so we pretty much enter this little small gap and go through it. Alright. Okay, let's see. Um, there should be a five rupee on my right. Yes, there is. Awesome. So we're halfway there. Oh, there's boulders. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was a little too close, but I'm um, pretty good. All right. So that's pretty pretty easy maze, and the sword is right here. All right. And I like how Link crouches into the treasure chest. But anyways, we got the Kokiri sword. It's not really big, but you know, it's suitable. Alright, this is a hidden treasure of Kukiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Alright, so you go to our start menu and we equip it. Alright. There we go. So we got the cook. Well, I didn't really want to say, but oh well. I don't know, it's been a while since I played this game. I'm doing a practice run on my 3DS, so it feels a little bit different playing on the GameCube controller. And yes, this is on the virtual console. Unfortunately, I don't have the original game on the Nintendo 64 cartridge, so yeah. This is on my Wii, so yeah. In. Come on, Link, get in there. Dang, there we go. Alright. I don't know, I'm kind of surprised I'm doing this game right after Kirby's Epic Yarn. I don't know, I, I was I was kind of debating on Sky Resort or, or Creative Time. Oh, let's talk to this guy when he says. Hey, let's work on some moves, alright? Oh, he's just telling us how to do this. 
But pretty much, you can earn some rupees if you do fancy flips and all that. That's pretty much it. Alright, there's some bushes here that we could cut, so pretty much you just press B by using the sword. Alright, actually what the sword said. Uh, cut grass. Alright, if you hold Z as you swing, you'll cut vertically. Alright, let's try that. Uh, did I do that wrong? I don't know. You I don't know, depending how you cut these boards, you actually can earn um, rupees. Alright, just thrust your sword, press forward. Oh, okay. So, pretty much how, uh, when you thrust your sword, you hold up, up on the control stick and you press B. And you get some rupees out of that, so nice. Uh, but we still need more rupees. Any more? We need more rupees! And. Uh, you're still humping a rock. Wow, you're still humping. <laughs> yes, I know. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, I need more rupees. I mean, really, I do need more rupees. Okay, you know, let's go in here and... Oh. Alright, this girl, she wants us to talk to us from using Navi. Yeah, pretty much, you just um, hold L and then press A to talk to people from a distance. Yeah, th pretty much this first video is just a tutorial video. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna skip all the text that she says. So pretty much this is the shop, but I need four more rupees to get 40 rupees. Alright. So let's jump over these poppers one more time just to get five rupees because uh, I don't have enough. There we go. Now I have enough. Now we could go back into the shop and, well, buy ourselves a shield. So, awesome. Alright, so let's go in here and buy ourselves a shield. Alright, good sir, boy. Alright, there's a bag of shield. 40 rupees. Alright, let's buy it. Alright, awesome. So now we got the Deku shield. Now we're fully ready to go to the Drake, the the Great Deku tree. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, game. No, I do not want to buy anything. I have enough to buy another item. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, go over to our start menu and equip our sword. And I should show the the start screen. But anyway, this um tile right here is your equipments. You know, your basic sword and shield equipments. Now here is the item selection screen, which unfortunately we don't have any items. And this is pretty much the map, and so far there's really nothing. All we have is Kokiri 4s for now. And this is pretty much your quest status, so pretty much it has... Well, everything so far. Nothing really. <laughs> but later on, once we collect some stuff, we'll... Uh, fill in the quest status. And yeah. Alright, anyways, and... Okay, good, I got everything equipped. Alright, Mido, let me in. Yeah, 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 you said the same thing. Yes, okay, I get it. Yes, I get it. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield? And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Maya, would never accept you as one of us. Shoot! How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. Yeah, be very jealous. <laughs> be very jealous. Alright, so right away, once we get to the Great Deku Tree, there's gonna be a few enemies. These guys are Deku Babas. So pretty much they're just basic plant enemies in Zelda games. And over here, we got a stick! Not just an ordinary stick, it's a De Deku stick. And I can't talk today, really. I don't know, it's a new LP, so it's a little different commentary, I guess. I mean, a lot more talking through the text and all that. But anyways, we're here! Hello, Great Deku Tree! We are here! Great Deku Tree, I'm back! Yes, I'm gonna try to do some voice acting in this. Just make it more entertaining. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Skevin, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the great Degatree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past noon and moons have been restless and full of nightmares. As a service of evil gains strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Skevin, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yes, I do. I'm fully equipped, so I'm ready. Then enter, brave Skevin, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Skevin. And Skevin, when Navi speaks, use up see to listen well to her words of wisdom. If I decide to listen to her, that is, because <laughs> she's very annoying in this game. But I find her find be more annoying from Skyward Sword than Navi in this game. But we'll be lying in the Great Deku Tree. Find out in the next episode, guys. So I'm gonna end it here. So next time on Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, we will enter the Great Deku Tree. So I'll see you guys then. So this is Shaw Kirby Seven Seven saying bye.